The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the December 16th. The terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. We knew and I make that one little two by four ship. Well, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead and let those fingers do the walking. You can send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Les Show. A bit of a mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow up slightly, five points. The Nasdaq, our New York Stock Exchange, up 68 points, four tenths percent. Otherwise, we got everything trading to the downside. The S&P's up 27. Nasdaq 100, 362. Russell's down 26. Semi's off 144. Uh, you've got gold up. Uh, well, it's 34 bucks. It's really not up 34 dollars, but it's up uh, trading out at 17.98. Looks like, and it's trading up into the top of its uh, daily profile, so resistance level that we'll look at. Silver's trading out at 22.49. Lights we crude. Uh, trading out at 72.46. Natural gas up uh, three cents, leading the charge dollar-wise to the upside. That is booking holdings, 44 bucks, two percent. Accenture PLC, 26 bucks, seven percent. Uh, guru favorite stocks up 20, well, 2389 percent. Wonder if that's an IPO. Charter Communications up 11 bucks, to almost two percent to the downside. Amazon, 76 bucks. 2%. Adobe's up 11% or 68. Shopify, 59 or 4%. HubSpot, 6.5%, 45 bucks. So there's some shakers out there, and there are a few movers. We have a request to take a look at one of those movers. Let's get that off of the... Uh off of our list of things to do. And you got AT&T. Nice move today. Good volume behind the move, 67 million, but it's trading right up into key resistance. And key resistance here is at 2388. That is the top of its daily profile. So we're just taking a look at profile wise. You're below the weekly, you're below the monthly. So you really need a good bottoming pattern or signal inside of the daily time frame. We'll go take a look at the charts to see if we have that. I believe that we do. But the key here and the really the, the level that I want to point out that's going to be important if you're a long eight T is as we take a look at the daily profiles here, we have not seen a close above a top of a daily profile, not since April of 2021, the actual date, the last time we saw a close above the top of a daily profile was April 22nd. So what does that tell us? Well, here's what it would tell me. If we've got a valid bottoming signal, which I believe that we do. We'll go find that out in a moment. I believe there was a Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal because I know I'd, I'd take a look at AT&T as well as Verizon out there. Both had similar type patterns. Well, in the case of AT&T, you need to see a close above the top of this daily profile, 2388. Do you need to see it today? You'd like to see it today with a wide-ranging bar that's gone, in essence, from the bottom to the top of the profile. Does it have to take place today? No. But if you don't get that, you're not necessarily out of the woods, whether we show a bottom or not. But if we do get it, and that's a close above 2388, then AT&T all of a sudden looks very interesting. 
just based upon using the market profiles, understanding where it has or it hasn't been. So now as we open up this chart here, what do we see? Okay, we see that today's gap to the upside is confirming a Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom signal. So that's nice out there. So you've got that going for us. And if we could get a close above 2388, whether it's today or tomorrow, the next day, whatever it might be, not in, if we do get that, then that's signaling that you could see move all the way back to where it broke down from, $28.15. So that would be something to be taking a look at for most of the folks that are listening in uh, to the uh, show. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, the weekly time frame chart, I'm going to guess there's an A to B equal CD to the downside. There is a TD9 count bottom. That is held. So in the case of the weekly chart, what we can also see out here is we have not seen a close above that oscillator and change line for quite some time. Well, from a weekly standpoint, that quite some time. Last time we were above the top of the oscillator and change line was May uh, that was May of 2021. So we've got April and May of 2021. So now we've got the daily time frame signal and the weekly time frame signal. So we're going to revert back to the weekly. AT&T is not going to get out of the woods unless we see a close above 24.15. Now that number is going to change as price moves up or down, but you can use that as a range out there. But so we've got both great uh, uh, tools uh, from the daily and the weekly patterns, that is, from the daily and the weekly time frame to really assist us here. With regard to the monthly chart, I don't have anything there that uh, is going to assist us. So it's really about the daily and the weekly. It looks good. The question is, can price overcome those resistance levels? Why is that important? Well, because we can just flow right through to what's going on inside the equity markets out here. Why are those levels important? Well, take a look at the ES Mini, the NQ out here, and what price has done. Today, we tested earlier this morning, we tested the top of the weekly weekly profile inside the ES 4733 we're back below it it still has its TD9 count top it has its roads momentum indicator top take a look at the top of the profile the NQ at 16458 now look the high was just slightly above it we actually got up to a level of 16450 uh, no we didn't 16457 and 16,458 is the top of that uh, daily profile so it's a beautiful thing now if we look at the Dow we've, we've got we've got different signals out here but the ES Many, the S&P and the NQ are just suggesting that we're in some type of consolidation out here. Whereas in the Dow, price right now, it traded, it closed just above the top of its daily profile, 35,808 yesterday. You're above it right now. You're at 35,892. And if price can stay above the top of this profile, two consecutive closes, it would be an indication that the Dow itself may be running up to the 36,354 level. That's the top of its weekly profile. We're going to go take a look at the Dow's equity future contract, other charts out there. But um, so these profiles, the, the importance here of really coming back to this is these profiles are very important. It provides you and I with a competitive edge that others don't have, which is understanding exactly where sellers reside, exactly where buyers reside. Doesn't mean that either of those will hold, but boy, it sure helps you to understand as you're driving down the road where the potential traffic is, where the U-turns are. And right now what we've got is we've got a hangover U-turn. We had that nice move to the upside yesterday. We went back and explored all those intraday charts. They were signaling to us that markets wanted to move higher, but didn't say that we were going to go take out those highs out there. And in essence, we have not done that. So that just says for you and I and everybody else out there, we've got to be careful. The highs for the year are still in. And that could be signaling to you and I that we're just simply going to either move in this consolidation pattern or begin to move lower for perhaps the next couple of years. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. We'd love to hear from you. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. back folks so the charts that we've got up on our screen right here this is i believe is for mr bill in the tiger's den is uh, colgate paul Molub. ticker symbol there is a uh, cl so we can see this thing is uh blown past its daily and weekly uh, top of their profile levels and suggest that price might make a move up to 86.41 that's the top of the monthly profile but however and in this case, there is a however. Today is going to become bar number nine of a TD nine count. So, Mr. Bill, we could be looking at a TD nine count top that occurs between today and tomorrow. And should that occur, uh, and we'll go look at the short-term time frame chart, see if there's any kind of a signal just yet. Uh, that would then suggest that price would likely pull back to 80.19. Now, that's in lieu of some other profile forming out there. I don't know whether one will form or won't, but 8019 would be the target based upon the daily time frame. That's the oscillator and change line. On a weekly basis out here, you've got 8457 as a TD9 breakdown resistance level and 8556. So those are two key levels. There's no topping signal here on the weekly time frame chart. And so perhaps maybe it's tomorrow. Maybe price makes that move up to 84.57 uh, along with uh, becoming the bar following bar number nine of a TD nine count. Uh, the monthly chart out here, no real signal to assist us other than just you can see really a sideways consolidation and you're up towards that consolidation zone. Not all the way up there, but certainly up into that area. So if there were going to be some type of a top because of the daily TD nine count pattern, we would see some type of topping signal on the intraday charts. Well, the 15-minute chart has a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Price of support is sell. That's at 83.53. So if you're watching this chart, if you're watching this stock, I should say, and you see a 15-minute close below 83.53, odds favor price is going to pull back to 82.86. The 30-minute time frame chart, it also appears to be forming a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. The reason I say appears, there's still 10 minutes left in the session. But right now, you have a bullish engulfing candle. That would then suggest a pullback to 83.03. 
If we look at a 65-minute chart, the same thing. You're going to have a TD9 count and potential roads minimum indicator top out there. So, Mr. Bill, you kind of getting the feel out here as to what we're looking at. We're starting to see you've got a daily TD9 count top. We have not all, not each of the intraday charts, but several of them are showing us that it's trying to turn. I would watch those key support levels. Again, the first area I would say would be 8286. That's the 15 minute and 8303 on the 30-minute uh, time frame chart out there. So that's what I'd be watching for with regard to Colgate Palmolive. Ticker symbol there, folks, is CL. We had another request. I believe this was from G7. He wants to take a look at SPYV. And I think he was trying to indicate that this is a ETF that has all kinds of instruments in it. Uh, more, this is uh, supposedly, this is more heavily weighted from an international side. I, I, I think that's, it's, it's kind of hard for me to always read everything, but uh, the value side of the S&P. Well, let's just take a look at what it's doing. Here's what it is doing. It's trading above the top of its daily, weekly, and monthly profile. So from that standpoint, it's above resistance and says that, hey, maybe I want to move higher. Now, on a daily basis, it's dealing with a swing point from November the 8th that had 1.5 million shares. You're already above that with 1.8 million shares. That would say you could see an A to B equals C D to the upside. Now, that A to B equals C D to the upside is not going to take you substantially further from where we're at right now. The A point out here is going to be down from September 20 to 21. The B point is going to be the high on November the 8th. The C point was a, probably a 0.786 retracement or so back into December 1st. And so the one-to-one -one price target is 42.35. You're trading at 41.69 right now. Let's pull over the white background charts, see if there's any other information that we can glean from here well the information that you and i are looking at is bullish what do you mean stevie okay so we're going to begin on the trading day of uh, december the 9th see how that oscillator and change line went from red to green what that tells us is over the coming sessions we should see a test of that line and it's the test of that line that then communicates to us what its real intent is a test and rejection which is what we saw on um tuesday as well as yesterday on wednesday is the signal so no surprise that price is doing what it's doing can it clear that seventh wave signal can it clear that november 8th high uh, at days end it certainly has the volume to do that and if it closes below that high that high again 4172 you're 4169 right now you should at least retest that because of the volume in today's trade so you're up against that resistance, that prior high. On a weekly basis, I don't have any kind of, well, I take that back. You have a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. So on a weekly basis, price needs to close above 4172. Otherwise, its top remains in place. If its top remains in place, perhaps we see some kind of a pullback. Now, on the intraday charts here, we don't have any real topping signals to speak. Uh, well, you do have a few. You've got a TD9 count top on the 15, wave number 7 on the 30. You don't have anything on the 60. Well, I'm looking at, I've got the different, I've got my futures charts up here. So we'll just leave it at that um, with regard to SPYV. I hope that helps you out, uh, G7. Watch those, that high today. You've got those two tops out there. And so depending on where this closes, again, we'd like to see a retest of that high. But um, if you can't take it out, it, you almost would have to say, hmm, something to think about. The next request, and I apologize, I don't recall who, who requested this, but it was to take a look at Tarjay out there. TGT is a ticker symbol. Let me just get this uh, up on the back black background charts first. And as we take a look at Target, Target, ooh, bad day here, and moving back into a swing point, looks like with some volume too. So the swing point that it's trading into all the way down to October 4, 2021. Yeah, that had 3.8 million shares. You're moving into it 4.4 million shares. You're below the bottom of the weekly box. You're below the bottom of the daily box. That just formed today. And this would suggest that price might be targeting 216.94. 216.94 happens to be the bottom of the monthly profile. So the first thing we'd have to do is take out the swing point from October 4th. Hasn't done that. That level is 222.88. You're 225.88 right now, but it's moving into that area with volume. Let's pull over the other charts, the white background charts, and see what we see. So you could see now this is also breaking its breakout level, which was 228.32. Now I don't know where this ends the day, but right now it's trading below that with bar number seven. So you could get a TD9 count bottom between tomorrow, Friday. By the way, tomorrow I'll be recording that show from 8 to 9, so please join me early for that uh, or send some emails in the morning. Don't send them today in this afternoon because it just gets I, – I literally – I'm not – I'm being serious. I get thousands of emails 
And so that's why I'm asking you to put radio show question in the subject heading because I delete most of them that come in. It's just it's, there's no way to humanly go through each of those out there. In any event, back to this, you could see a TD nine count bottom form between tomorrow and uh, no, not popular at all. <laughs> it's called yes, I am popular. I am the king of junk mail, not intentionally. But it's just the way that it is. So uh, in any event out here, um, you could get a TD9 count, but get it out of your system already, Stevie. You could get a TD9 count pattern that forms between tomorrow, Friday, and next Tuesday out there. But let's look at the weekly chart for Target. What kind of signal does this generate for us? So that would make sense. You could get a bottoming signal out here for Target. Now, the reason I say it makes sense is because the weekly is pulling back into breakout support and TD9 count support. So... What you want to do is 223.26 is a key level. If price closes below, that really the number it needs to close below to negate these signals. Uh, 228.88. If price closes below that, then we're no that could that couldn't be right. 222.88. Yeah, 222.88. We get a close below that. Target is likely headed to 186.74. So I be careful here with regard to Target out there. TGT is the ticker symbol. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. We'd love to hear from you. Either send me an email, steve at tfnn.com, or give us a call at 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, 
folks. So uh, in our Tiger's Den, we've got a request to go take a look at the PRQR. That is PR, that's ProQR Therapeutics. And uh, it's got a brand new uh, profile that is formed today, Dan. Uh, this profile it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to turn price off. It'll make it a little bit easier for you to see. What it's indicating to you and I is that, we, that this instrument should be inside a consolidation. Now, the reason that we can state that is because the new profile that's forming, uh, turn off price, is wrapped around the prior profile. So you can see it's just these two, these three little dots out here, blue lines. But see the, the bottom of the new profile, Dan, 646, center up at 702 at 736 so we've got a lower low and a higher high with regard to profile so it's an indication of a consolidation that is going on in between this so back to the ranch here a price made its way up towards the top of that new profile it was the top of yesterday's profile at the uh, 725 level so it looks like you've got a good old-fashioned consolidation now price is uh, trading up into the swing point from december 8th it had a million shares you're only at 199,000 shares so yeah i'd say that this thing is not getting ready to uh, take off and catapult to the upside but let's go take a look at PRQR on the daily, weekly, and monthly set of uh, white background charts out here. And the white background chart, what do we have? So for some reason, I'm not getting the uh, live feed through it. It might show 710. This was trading at 702. It's not really going to change anything. So it does have a nice TD9 count bottom. But it looks like all this is going to lead to at this stage here is a bit of a consolidation. Now, look, if price can take out 736, Close above 736, you should see 782 out there. That's what the daily chart tells us. On the weekly uh, basis, what do we have out here? Not much. Uh, he's got resistance at the center of the profile, which also is its oscillator and change line. The monthly chart looks pretty decent out here. Um, but I think right now it's the daily that is going to be controlling things for you, Dan. So watch that new profile between 646 and 736. I hope that helps you out. And, uh, yeah, have a, a beer on Stevie. Uh, not drinking too much beer these days. Uh, the next request, uh, this one coming in from, whoops, cancel that. This is coming in from George. And uh, George says, hey, Steve, hope all is well. I am long Boeing. Does it look good to you to own this uh, stock for 2022? Well, let's go take a look at Boeing. Ticker symbol out here is BA. And uh, we'll at least tell you what it looks like today, whether it's good for 2022 or not. Mm, hard to say. But let's go see what it's communicating to you and I. So right now, this is uh, trading with inside its daily profile. Yesterday got down, tested and rejected the bottom. George, that's at 190.70. Uh, it's, it was testing a swing point that had volume of 13 million shares from December 1st. Uh, yesterday's push down was with uh, lighter volume, 8 million shares. Today, you're at about 4.5 million shares. So what does this tell us? You're below the weekly. You're inside the monthly profile. So let's go see what Boeing is telling uh, George and Stevie uh, as of uh, right now. So here on the daily basis, what you don't like is prices trading below its red oscillator and change line. So does it mean that it will bust out support? But uh, if you're asking, do I see some kind of bottom pattern or signal on the daily time frame for Boeing? You know, there probably is an A to, let me pull this back just a tad further here. Um, we'll come back to that. Let me look at the week. I'm sure there's an A to B equals CD to downside. So I'm sure of that. Uh, so I'm not going to, not going to, but, but it needs to really, you know, with this being back below its red oscillator and change, then watch 190.70. You close below that, you go back and test that prior swing point and maybe lower. The weekly chart out here tells us what. So the weekly chart, it's below support, no bottoming signal and play out here, no bottoming signal on really the daily. I did say it's got an A to B equal C to the downside. So it really makes that uh, swing point from December 1st, George, a real key level. Am I seeing a real reason to hold this uh, right now, or even when well, you were asking me, would I take a long position in Boeing at this very moment? I wouldn't. It doesn't. I'm not saying jettison the position. I'm saying watch the bottom of that profile, uh, not the uh, bottom of the profile as well as the bottom of that swing point. Because if you close below that, that's a signal we had lower. Now, price getting back inside the monthly profile. Boy, this this could this could run all the way to 146.32. So I'd rather be a buyer of Boeing at around 117.66 to 146 than I would at 192. And that's just simply because we're not seeing any kind of real uh, great uh, signals out here. So George, thanks so much for writing in. I hope that that helps you out. That doesn't mean that it's not good for 2022. It just means that right now on December 16th, 2021, uh, we're not uh, seeing it when it comes to uh, Boeing. So I hope that that helps you out. And I believe that I have gotten through, gotten through, wow. Oh, Urban Meyer was fired. Oh, interesting. 
Uh, yeah, I, I agree with you, uh, Dan, about that. But uh, of course, I'm a Michigan fan, so it'd be easy to to do that. Um, but in any event, out here, uh, there goes the NSA. So um, let's see. I think I've gotten through everything in the Tigers. No, I, there was one symbol put in here by, by G7, SPYG, the growth set of stocks inside the S&P. Is that correct out there? So just out of curiosity, what are those growth stocks? I don't know what they are, what's inside those growth stocks. But what is SPYG doing? Well, run into resistance today at the top of its daily profile at 72.17. was trading into a swing point from back on November 22nd, like uh, most of the market out there. And um, that had volume of 1.9 million shares. You moved into it yesterday with 3 million shares. Well, okay, you didn't get up to the top, but today is going to be, it looks like a rejection of that swing point. Now, it's 1.3 million shares right now. So maybe it's not going to be lighter volume, lighter volume to be be less than 1.966 out here, but it's trading inside the profile, likely headed back to the 70-79 area. Um, it's with inside the weekly profile, could make a move to 68.23. So let's just take a look at SPYG and its daily time frame, what signals it may have or may not have. So you've got that same roads momentum indicator top, just like the Dow has, just like the S&P has a number of instruments out here. But what has held with regard to the uh, growth sector of the S&P 500 is its TD9 breakout level. That's at 68.58. So that would be a real key level to watch. If you close below that, we probably have a change in trend that is underway. The weekly time frame chart has a roads momentum indicator top. Yeah. So all of this stuff, all this stuff, all these roads momentum indicator tops are signaling to me that, uh, yeah, that the highs for the year could be in. And it could be not just for the year. It could be the highs for 2022 are in on 2021. So we really want to be paying close attention uh, to that. So I hope that that helped you out. I think that we then now have gotten through everything or all the requests thus far. But that doesn't mean the request line is closed. It just means give us a call at 877-927-6648 or send me an email, steve at tfn.com. Uh, G7 uh, is popular today. Wants to take a look at the XLP, the consumer staples area. So we'll go ahead and put that up. That has been running just like Colgate. Paul Molive has. But let's put up the XLP. The XLP today what is it doing it is uh, going to form barn so just like Colgate really this is just a replication of what we looked at at Colgate so let's just pull over the white background charts out here and that is this we've got bar number nine that is forming today inside of the XLP so that says a top could or should form between today and tomorrow now whatever the high is today or tomorrow the highest high doesn't matter which one it does matter. It's just got to be the highest high of today or tomorrow. If price begins trading above that, let's say, Monday or Tuesday, then it tells us about a strong momentum move to the upside. There's also an A to B equals CD pattern that's in play here. Um, and it's beyond the one-to-one -one level. It looks like it's beyond the one-to-one -one level for me. This needs a bearish reversal candle. So I would say if you get a TD9 count top and you get a bearish reversal candle, that's a suggestion of a retracement at least. And that retracement would take you back to around the 7434 level. On a weekly basis out here, what do we have? Weekly basis uh, looks fine. So it's the daily chart to be watching when we take a look at the XLP. The monthly chart looks pretty good out there. So I'd watch the daily. The next couple of days of trading are going to be important for signals coming from it. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's go out to Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing th uh, this morning? Still morning for you. Yeah, I'm doing very well, Steve. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. And it's the NASDAQ that you had called about. Anything specific? I was just going to comment quickly that that gold trade worked out pretty well. With the, just being a little patient and, and uh, waiting for that to bottom yesterday and then you know, going along with that gave us some calls on the on the GLD. Yes. But yeah, my question now is is there anything on the shorter term uh time frame chart that you know on the NASDAQ that might show some kind of bottoming pattern? It's, I've been watching that. I haven't done anything, but just kinda of thinking that there's a possibility that it's kinda of taking a hit here today if there might be something that, that shows up on your chart. Uh, sure. Consider going so great, there, doing a long great trade. Yeah, great question. I'm, I'm asking myself that same question. Michael P. is asking himself that same question. He's saying, hey, Steve-O, should we go short the uh, NASDAQ 100? So you're asking the question, do we see any kind of a bottom signal? And what we'd be looking for are those intraday time frames. So here in the upper right-hand corner is the 30-minute chart. And on the 30-minute chart, uh, this had a TD9 count going into 1230. That was negated promptly in the next half-hour session. We can see there's a little bit of a bounce, but there's no A to B equals CD pattern. The bounce is perhaps um, driven by the fact that it's 30-minute oscillator and change line change colors. So I would expect that uh, price net line will catch up to each other. Could be in the 16104, 16037-ish area. But no real bottom signal on a 30-minute basis. No pattern on the 60. No pattern on the 120. No pattern on the 240 and no pattern per se on the five hour. Now some of these are moving into profile levels. For example, the uh, NQ on the five hour is at the center of its daily profile. So it's in a support area. Maybe it just feeds into that 30 minute chart that you and I are looking at. New profile that is formed inside of the 240 minute time frame chart. Now that formed a below price, which should have been bullish, but price is back inside here. So. I would say that just takes me back to the daily time frame. It seems as if we're in some type of consolidating pattern. Could break it out, but right now you've got a bullish structure daily profile inside the NQ. And to the extent you're going to try to take some type of long position, I'd be looking more in the area of 15,729 to 15,821. I would say based upon the way these markets are trading, it could be a fairly short-term uh, trade out here. 
Uh, but that that would be the area. So right now at 145 in the afternoon, I don't see that. It's not as clear as like yesterday when we were reviewing the charts before the Fed announcement. It was pretty clear in the ES and the NQ, all the bottoming signals on the intraday charts out there. We just don't have that as we speak right now. Are there questions that you have about these charts that we're looking at or maybe something else that you're looking at to suggest that perhaps there's a bottoming? No, that's great. That's why, I mean, I don't try to force the issue if, it, if there's not something there that, you know, kind of stands out as a, you know, giving us some indicator that it's worth taking a shot at. I'm not going to push it. That's why I wanted you, if you could bring up the chart that you did to look at it. Again, I'm not looking at what you're showing me. I'm not seeing anything in particular that's standing out to me that would make me want to do that at this point. And not, not appreciate it. Yeah, and so if I take a look at the Russell 2000, just kind of switch gears here a little bit, because uh, Michael had, taught, had asked me about this uh, earlier. Uh, you've got that nice, you see you've got two bottom signals inside the Russell. And so you've got a TD9 count bottom that formed back here on the, uh, what's the day here? Give me a moment, we'll get the, uh, get the information. That was back on December the 1st. It was tested yesterday and held, and then you got a nice Rhodes Mentum Indicator bottom signal. Uh, but what price has failed to do is take out that red oscillator and change line. So this says we could head lower in the Russell 2000. I don't have a breakout here. Now on its 30-minute chart, slightly different. So you've got a TD9 count bottom that has formed on the 30. That is held. Nothing on the 60. Uh, the 120, um, you know, you still have the bottom signal. It's a retracement. The 240 uh, is a retracement. Um, I... Um, yeah, you know, you'd like to see some kind of uniformity here, and we just don't have it just yet. So I look at the Russell. If I pull up the ES Mini, uh, Brent, just to, again to look at that, just to see if there's anything that shows up here for its multi time frames. Uh, you've got a negated TD9 count on the 30, nothing on the 60, nothing on the 120, other than retracements of the uh, moves out there. So I've just not seen it just yet. So we could see lower prices throughout the day and that spot volatility index which is back above its 50 day expense moving average you know is another indication of that so it's not that the markets can't bounce or rally from here i've just not seen that on the charts no i appreciate that steve and i i guess yesterday it was kind of you know we all got to take advantage of that and that was kind of a gift yesterday so you don't know let's get it every day it's like that that was that great yesterday and today's just doesn't really, really happening yeah, and right now, the way these markets are trading, it's kind of like uh, yesterday was the uh, New Year's Eve, and uh, today was the, uh, oh, I had too much to drink. The hangover. <laughs> the hangover, exactly, exactly. Uh, All right, so, yeah, thank uh, you so much. You, you have bet. yourself a wonderful day, and, and I always appreciate your help. You bet. My pleasure. That was Brent in Martinez, California. So we got the Dow that is trading the upside. Why don't we just go, since I've looked at uh, the three of the four equity future contracts out here, let's just go see what the Dow signals are. Again, it's the multi time frames that we're looking at. So in the case of the uh, Dow out here, you've got a TD9 count top. Price is testing that TD9 count breakdown resistance at 35,900. Um, you've got a Rose Mentum indicator top on the 30. Now, the Dow is stronger. Than the other indices. Look how price has just pulled back to test support. That's its breakout level of 35.824. It's held the breakout level after TD9 count top on the 60 minute chart. TD9 count top on the 120, and it's held the oscillator and change line. You've got a Rose Mentum indicator signal on the 240. Price has held its oscillator and change line, as has the five hour chart. Now, the five hour chart doesn't have any real topping signal. It's got the prior top, the TD9 count top from back at 2300 hours back on December the 12th out there. So that top is still in place but <clears throat> the Dow you know if the other markets could turn up and give us those bottoming signals here, here we've got support that is held across the board so the Dow is uh, the Dow is trading uh, well if we were going to break out now of course the Dow has to take out that all-time high from November the 22nd I believe it's November 22nd let me just confirm that here for us that is yeah uh, November I take that back it was November the 8th that's the high that the uh, Dow would need to take out the Dow cash, uh, the Dow equity future contract, which is at 36, 330 out there. So we really have, as I mentioned, we've got tops, or maybe I didn't mention it, but you know, you, I typically don't uh, show this chart when we do the uh, two o'clock update. But just to kind of keep things in perspective, just to pinch ourselves out here, the Dow Jones Industrial Cash Index out here, we take a look at it, a TD nine count top. Now, what I would really like to see. This is different than what we've been talking about. I'd really like to see some type of Rhodes Mentum indicator top form on the daily time frame. Doesn't have to because there is one that's on the weekly chart out there. But every single bear market 
recorded through history, has always begun, has always had a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Not every Rhodes Mintum indicator top has turned into a bear market, but every single bear market going back to 1896, that was as far back as my data went, every single one of them had a Rhodes Mintum indicator top for the daily, weekly, or the monthly time frame. Does not have to have all three. Doesn't matter which one it has. It just has to have one of those out there. But here as we take a look at the topping pattern, the Dow's got got that in there. Now, on the cash indices, price is trading above that TD9 breakdown resistance level of 35,952. And that would suggest that it wants to go make a run for that high. That's really what we were looking at, in essence, with support holding on the uh, Dow's equity future contract intraday charts. The NDX100, a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. The S&P, a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. The Russell 2000, we'd have to go back quite a ways, but we can. And what kind of top? Well, it's got wave number seven. So it's got a wave number seven top and a sell the D point. A pattern out. Oh. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we've got a couple requests. Let's try to get to those. The first one was plug. Actually, what we're going to do here is just go to the white background charts. We only have two minutes, so let me just be efficient. Uh, not that I'm not efficient uh, the rest of the hour. But if we take a look at plug, I believe Marie is looking for a bottom out here. I don't. Uh, oh, you don't see the charts. That's a problem. That's a real problem. So let's get these charts going. So, Marie, on a daily basis, I do not see a bottoming signal. In fact, I see more of an A to B equals CD to the downside. If I look at the week, that's the daily time frame. So it looks like 2608 at a minimum. That's not going to complete the A to B equals CD pattern. 
out here, but 2608 is the next level of support. I know that you're looking to buy a plug. I don't see it right now. I just don't see the bottoming pattern or signal out here. So I would be patient on uh, that. The uh, A to B equals CD to the downside. No, let's just see. Was this swing point passed with volume? Uh, 19 million shares, and it was passed with uh, 20 million shares. Yeah, so you, you've got a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside inside of a plug. Now, that's going to give us a price projection, so it's not going to hit this uh, right away over time. That's going to take us down to about 21 bucks. 2607 is the next stop, bottom of its weekly, and 2155 is the top of the monthly chart. That's where I would be looking at plug. We have a request to take a look at Conical Phillips. COP is the ticker symbol out here. Um, we take a look at Conical Phillips. What do we have? Right now, price is trying to take out the top of its bearish structure daily profile. If it can do that, that's at 7259. You're at 7272. That should at least uh, get a run up to the highs from December 7th into the 75 area and then the last one was to take a look at teledoc tdoc is the ticker symbol as we pull this over here take a look at its daily time frame it has the potential to form a bottom it's got a roads momentum indicator signal out there i would wait for a bullish reversal candle before i would step into teledoc otherwise it looks like it continues to head lower the weekly chart does not show any kind of a bottom signal that could suggest a move down to about 81 30. folks thanks so much for joining me on terrific thursday Please join me early tomorrow morning. We'll be live. Uh, we'll be starting at 8.06 in the morning till 9. We'll make the show as pertinent as we can for you today. Have a terrific Thursday, a fantastic weekend. Hopefully we see you tomorrow. Be safe out there.